Uh, good morning. Uh, today I want to show you the last actual SPSS test you'll use in our final summary and final project. And it is about how to create a grand mean. And all that really is is when you want to take a look at several of our survey items together, there's a way to just sum them all together and then divide by the number of items. Basically, you're creating an average score across a number of items. In our final project, you'll use this in the regression at the end, the last regression test, where you will take a look at each of the factors that you create from our exploratory factor analysis. Uh, again, that's out of that big adjective list. Remember, different words are going to clump together in different groups. Each of those factors, you'll look at the words in that factor, in that word group, and you're going to put all those words together into one grand mean variable. So let me show you how to do this. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, go to Transform up here and click, and then click Compute Variable. And up in here, then, you'll see something that looks basically just like a math expression. The big trick to remember is always start putting the, the variables that you're grouping together in a parenthesis. So I add a parenthesis. And then you'll go down your list here from the SPSS. And let's just pick some words and say these words would be in our group of, you know, the, the words that cluster together in one of the factors. So I'd click Relevant, and I'd put that in here, and then add plus because I'm sorry, add a plus. You can also click these um, items down here with your cursor if you'd like. And then let's say another word in that cluster is means a lot. So I'd add that in there, means a lot. And then of course I'd add another plus sign. And let's say there was a third word in that cluster of words together and it's fascinating. So I click on fascinating and I move that up there. So let's say these three words were together in one of my factors. So again, those word clumps. Then to close it, I put another parenthesis here. So that means those three are together. Then divide by the number of items. So divide by three, right? That's it. So you've just basically created a grand mean. By the way, up here where it says target variable, you name your variable there. So, you know, remember in this final project, you're also going to uh, create words, latent variable words that reflect the name of that factor. So all I did here is put grand mean factor one, okay? You can name it whatever you want. Just remember that the words have to all be together, no spaces. So again, target variable, I'm creating a new variable. I've cl collected the words that fit together in that cluster, divide by the number of words in that cluster, right? And then hit OK. And SPSS will process, of course. And uh, then in a second, it'll pop back up. And here you go. So what you do is look, you'll scroll all the way to the end of your SPSS data. And let me get us over there. It's taking a little bit extra. And here it is, grand mean factor one. So again, if you look at those three items I collected together, I summed them and then divided by the number of items. So now you have one basic factor grand mean. It's all calculated together in one number, okay? so. Again, in the final project, there'll be instructions. You'll actually combine uh, the nine different variables that work together. Uh, those were our themed questions. So you'll look at those nine variables and test for reliability and then combine them together in a grand mean. So you'll get one variable like this for the nine items that were our themed questions in the survey. And then you'll also collect the different factors. I don't know yet, we haven't factored our results, but I would suggest you may have three or four different factors. Again, word clusters from our analysis of the adjectives, and you'll create a grand mean out of each of those factors. The reason we're doing that is in the end, our final regression, we'll run the grand mean variables for the different factors, those will be our independent variables, against the grand mean of all our themed questions together. And what that'll tell us in the end is out of our different dimensions, our different dimensions in the adjective list, which one is the biggest predictor of this perception of student loans. Pretty big stuff. It's exactly what we do in big research companies. You're actually learning here how to create a psychological study on how people think about their student loan experience. So that's it. Uh, I will post this. And if you have any questions, please contact me. Thank you.